These are the Scott Islands, a string of five small islands that stretch into the Pacific Ocean from the northwest tip of Vancouver Island. Every year, these islands are host to the highest concentration of breeding seabirds in the Canadian Pacific. At the intersection of the Alaska and California ocean currents, the area is full of diversity and an abundance of life. The Scott Islands are within the territories of the Tlatlasikwila and Quatsino First Nations. The Yutlanuk, known as the People of the Windy Islands, are one of the three distinct peoples who formed the Tlatlasikwila First Nation and were the original group to call these islands home. In a Quatsino origin story, one of the twin sons of the creator had a stride so long he could step from the northern tip of Vancouver Island onto one of the Scott Islands. For both First Nations, the area remains culturally significant and a rich source of food, social, and ceremonial resources. The islands themselves are already provincial parks or ecological reserves. The Scott Islands Marine National Wildlife Area extends the protection seaward. The establishment of this vast protected area recognizes how crucial the surrounding ocean habitat is for the millions of seabirds who visit annually. The Government of Canada is committed to the long-term conservation and protection of seabirds and their habitat. The Scott Islands Marine National Wildlife Area is the first of its kind in Canada and is another step forward in the protection of our exceptional natural environment. The world's oceans are fragile and these delicate marine ecosystems face a growing number of stresses. But marine protected areas make a difference. At first glance, the hillside appears empty. But from burrows dug into steep slopes emerge one of the island's most faithful and striking yearly visitors. More than 50,000 tufted puffins nest and breed on the Scott Islands. Although perhaps without the characteristic swoop and glide of other seabirds, the tufted puffin is as at home on the open ocean as any albatross. Airborne awkwardness aside, the puffin's relatively short wings are much better suited to flying underwater. Beneath the surface, the puffin is a skilled and graceful forager. In order to successfully nest and raise her young, this female tufted puffin needs a place safe from predators with plenty of good food nearby. Taking turns with her mate, she may leave the nest for days at a time, flying some distance away to reach the best feeding area. Soon, her chick will be ready to take flight, and she too will leave to spend the winter at sea in the North Pacific. But not everyone is here to nest. Next spring, she and millions of other seabirds will return to spend the summer months here, safe on the island's steep coastlines and supported by the rich marine ecosystem. However, ocean pollution, human disturbance, and a changing climate threaten marine and coastal animals and ecosystems. In the face of these risks, marine protected areas such as the Scott Islands Marine National Wildlife Area help to maintain biodiversity and increase the resiliency of vulnerable populations and habitats. Moving forward, this area will be collaboratively managed by the Quatsino and Tlatlasikwila First Nations, the Government of Canada, and the Province of BC.